A May Day meant worker protests in cities from San Francisco to San Jose and a loud call to arms against the Trump administration. Ken Basita with a look at the rallies around the Bay Area. Ken? Yeah, Veronica, a common theme today worker and immigrant rights and a call to take a stand against the president. Well, those rallies started early this morning and they continue even now. Chopper 5 live over a march in Oakland for the past hour or so. People have been marching through the Fruitvale district. Right now they are at Foothill and 20th. The rally's not just about wages and working conditions, but also about immigration, about families. So some businesses closing their doors for the day to draw attention to the contributions of immigrant workers. Meanwhile, the other side of the bay, San Francisco, hundreds of people filling the streets, marching from the financial district to Justin Herman Plaza at the foot of Market Street. Those demonstrations started about 8 o'clock this morning. A group of about 200 people taking over the intersection of Sansom and Washington outside the Federal Office of Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, where protesters linked arms to block that driveway. I've been an organizer all my life, and for the first time, I see so many people getting up and waking up finally and saying, "This something's wrong." Well, the organizers are saying it's important for workers and undocumented people to work together to defeat what they call systems of oppression. And this was the May Day gathering in San Jose. This was the turnout for a march and rally at the Mexican Heritage Plaza. Now, besides service workers, some employees at Facebook and Google also stayed off the job to honor workers' rights. And we're just getting these pictures in from Portland, Oregon. Look at this, a May Day march that went sideways when some anarchists hijacked the event. Police had to move in, warn families to leave the event. When people began throwing rocks and setting fires, you can see at least eight people there were detained. Portland police promptly canceled the permitted event when the violence broke out. Ken Bastida, KPIX 5.